Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about 8 by 3 encoder. So, in the previous videos we have introduced what do you mean by an encoder and what is the basic size of the encoder and how to represent the encoder logic diagram. And we have already seen 422 encoder and we have seen its VHDL code also. Okay, if you have not gone through once go to the previous uh, videos and see the last two videos then you can understand what do you uh, how to write the visual code and what do you mean by encoder itself okay now uh, what is the basic size of the encoder so encoder has a basic size of 2 power n input lines by n output lines 2 power n input lines by n output lines output lines okay this is the basic size of the encoder. So, for our requirement, we are keeping n is equal to 3. When you keep n is equal to 3, then it gives 2 power 3 by 3, nothing but 8 by 3 size encoder. This is what our concept. Okay. So, 8 by 3 encoder. This is what the n equal to 3 size. What is the main function of the encoder? Encoder is to convert a higher order bit into lower order bit that means it is an opposite action of the decoder okay now let us see the logic diagram okay simply we can uh, write it is an opposite operation of oper opposite operation of decoder decoder why i am saying this uh, term is because we have already studied in the previous videos decoder 3 to 8 decoder we have seen and IC 3 to 8 decoder also we have seen 74 LS 138. Okay, for, uh, so that's why if you understand that concept, this is very easy. Okay, so the logic diagram, logic diagram of 8 by 3 encoder. So 8 by 3, so we should have 8 input lines and three output lines eight input lines so i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 so 0 to 7 8 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 so 0 to 7 total 8 inputs and it is 8 by 3 encoder see for all the logic diagrams whatever you are taking encoder or decoder whatever may be the size that should be mentioned inside the ic then by seeing immediately you can understand what is this okay so three outputs are there y2 y1 y0 okay now let us go to the truth table truth table see enable pin we are not use, using here if you want to keep enable pin then we can take directly enable pin at, as one of the input lines no problem okay then uh, eighth pin will be uh, sorry ninth pin will be added as enable pin so here ninth pin will be added as enable pin when enable is equal to one chip is activated and based on the input selection output will be coming out otherwise when enable equal to 0 chip is disabled whatever may be the input condition output is simply zeros okay that concept you know so i am just discarding enable pin now coming to the truth table consists of inputs i7 i6 i5 i4 i3 i2 i1 i0 and we have the outputs y2 y1 y0 okay so first let us consider i0 pin is activated rest of all the input lines i0 pin is activated rest all the input lines then what happens so simply outputs are zeros outputs are zero so i told you already you should consider msb to lsb always msb to lsb is the best representation in the truth table format okay zero 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 
0 0 0 now first pin is activated out of all the input lines first pin is activated so first pin means what is the corresponding binary equivalent of 1 0 0 1 so why not pin is activated 0 0 1 means it is a 1 and similarly now the second pin is activated and these two are zeros second pin is activated second pin means what is the corresponding binary equivalent 0 1 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 so third pin is activated so 3 i 3 3 corresponding binary representation is this one and fourth pin is activated and remaining all are zeros so what is the four binary equivalent representation one double zero and now uh, sorry fifth pin is activated fifth pin is activated and remaining all are zeros so one zero one and sixth pin is activated so 1 1 0 and coming to the last one when last pin i7 activated so i7 means 7 means the binary equivalent is triple 1 okay this is the truth table of this 8 to 3 encoder that means out of 8 inputs whichever may be the selected pin that will be the output the corresponding binary equivalent will be the output okay now let us see what is the uh, internal architecture internal structure using gates to get the internal structure we should know the boolean expressions of all these without knowing the boolean expression you can not go for the internal logic diagram internal uh, gate level diagram okay boolean expressions so how can you write the boolean expression of y not c go to y not and tell me how to write See, y naught is 1 here, that means this will come. Okay, and similarly here means this will come. What is this? i3, i1, and this i5, and what is this? i7, i7 will come. Okay, so 1, 3, 5, 7, that is the expression. So you can write it as i7 plus i5 plus i3 plus i1 this is the first i0 and coming to second one phi1 is equal to y1 is equal to y1 is equal to c how to write y1 when when y1 is 1 this one this one so this is nothing but i2 i3 i2 i3 and last two means 6 7 this one this one okay 6 7 and 2 3 so 7 6 plus 3 2 okay so i y3 is equal to now coming to y3 so y3 is equal to take a, another black color so y2 here that means i4 i5 i6 i7 because all the four next four are there okay so y2 is equal to now it is the r operation between y7 i7 i6 i5 i4 so i7 i6 i5 i4 okay so sorry this is y2 this is y2 okay so y not is 1 when any of these 4 is 1 and similarly y1 is 1 when any of these 4 is 1 and 
y2 is 1 when any of these four is 1. So, when we are saying any of these four means it is an OR operation. So, we need OR gates, three OR gates with four, four inputs each. Three OR gates with four inputs each. So, the logic circuit, logic circuit, so the logic circuit is so, 3 OR gates, 3 OR gates, 3 OR gates, so Y not by 1, Y2, so the lines are, what are the inputs lines we have to use, uh, I1 is there, so I not is not there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, see I7, I5, I4, sorry I6, I5, I4, I3, I2 and I1. Okay, so why not is 1 when 7, 5, 3, 1. So, 7th pin, 5th one and 3 and 1. Next, y1 is 7, 6, 3, 2. 7, 6, 3, 2 and y2 is 7, 6, 5, 4. Last 4 bits 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, this is y. So, in this way we can construct the logic circuit from the basic logic diagram of the A to 3 encoder using truth table and boolean expressions. Okay, in the next class, I will tell how to write a data flow VHDL model for this A to 3 encoder. Okay, thank you.